As I drove down Cleveland Road, I saw a place that was far too tempting to just pass up. Here we are at Jack's Deli, home of Jack's famous super subs. Uh, this guy features over 30 different kinds of subs made fresh daily. Uh, you know, I can't wait to find out. This place is uh, pretty known around the community, and uh, we got uh, Gilly here. Not sure what this represents, but maybe we can find out inside. We were talking a little bit earlier, and said, you know what, I ain't gonna hit up all the other uh, name places, quote unquote, because uh, they don't serve as much, uh, you know, they don't serve as good as food, right? You know, you get better food here. Well, uh, you know, the chains are um, highly uh, motivated by the tourism uh -huh. in, in Erie County, so obviously up and down 250, everybody goes there, and their names are recognized, but if you don't stop here and get really homemade good pizza, you're missing out on it. This was a uh, family-run business that we uh, started as a base shop and kind of uh, transpired into a deli and now is primarily a pizza and sub shop. The New Yorker is actually a spin-off of the Steel City Sandwich. The Steel City Sandwich came into being in Pittsburgh during the Depression. Pittsburgh steel workers had to put in about 20 hours a day and they only got about 20 minutes for food breaks. So they developed a sandwich that put all the entrees on a bun. The sandwich became so popular that other big cities like New York, Boston, Philadelphia, they all began to pick it up. This is one of the most popular. The New Yorker is our own roast beef baked in a convection oven. We have a base of homemade roast beef, cheese, our own coleslaw that we make, Thousand Island, and then a handful of french fries. And if you can fit this thing in your mouth, it is by far the most delicious flavor you will ever eat. And I'll tell you, there's nothing more addicting than one of these. And we'll have to see if our host can handle one of these. Oh my goodness. And I don't know that he's witnessed anything like this in this area, but... I'm, I'm going to be swimming and subbing in a minute, guys. This is uh, it's pretty remarkable. There's a lot to this guy. This is fantastic. I mean, I never thought, I've never eaten a sandwich with fries on it before, I'm not gonna lie, but it, it goes really well. It's like, it's fantastic. Two thumbs up and a pinky. Okay, well, we're just getting started. Jack's Deli is also serving up pizza. Artichoke. Greek pizza. The uh, artichoke hearts, feta cheese, tomatoes, black olives. Rather unusual, but easily one of the most interesting pizzas we make, and by far my favorite. And then, of course, you have to have a little bit of feta cheese on any Greek pizza. It's a combination that we've come up with, yeah, it's the artichoke parts, the uh, feta cheese, the tomatoes, the kalamata olives. It has such a diverse combination of flavors. And again, it's a very healthy pizza. It's a garlic butter crust. It's not a traditional uh, red sauce. We have a few different sauces that we use in Alfredo, the garlic, and then the uh, traditional pizza sauce. But again, all of our sauces we make our Cells, and it adds to the flavor and the quality. And the key ingredient in all of our products is just that the homemade product, the homemade goodness that comes along with a fresh bread crust that is unlike anything that we eat anywhere else. What a great, wow, that bread. While everything that we have looked at today has been great, I want to show you something that's new to Jack's Deli. We're talking about breakfast. Jamie served me up some of his breakfast, and I'll tell you what, this thing's already got a buzz on the street. His stuffed French toast is absolutely amazing. 
Share from Jamie, the best breakfast I'm ever going to eat, guys. Let's find out. Of course, we can't forget uh, about your film crew here. <laughs> so we had to make them one, make a pair of them because nobody can eat just one. That's nice. One for me, one for the mysterious voice. <laughs> Enjoy. Thanks, man. Let's give this a shot here. All right, I'm about to sink my teeth into the best breakfast quote from Jamie of Jack's Deli I'm ever going to eat in my entire life. You know what? I'll tell you what. I'm going to try I love breakfast soup. You're going to be in deep trouble then. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, man. What kind of filling you put in there? Is that like cream cheese or what? That's a cream cheese. We often add uh, walnuts, but... With the allergies to peanuts, we've opted to uh, eliminate that on the menu, but That's we can also crust that with almonds, so we have an almond crusted stuffed French toast that's even better yet. So we have a few tricks up our sleeve yet that we can't disclose entirely. <laughs> so, Jamie, thanks a lot, man. Thank you. It was a pleasure entertaining your palate. It's the only entertainment they allow me, and uh, we appreciate you bringing it in. All right. Well, it's time for us to hit the road again, see what else is waiting. Out in my fireland. I shouldn't eat, I shouldn't eat anymore. I'm not gonna. What's that?